let's talk about Sean Spicer. I know, you know, we, we, we put up the, uh, the Nightline misrepresentation uh, of your remarks and then right. several other ABC misrepresentations or falsehoods, and, uh, including running a, a promo of assassination of the president during the interview with the president, uh, a Photoshop picture of a snowing outside the White House with Trump looking out of the Oval Office window when there was no snow. I mean, and I'm not to pick on ABC. I could do that with every single network. Um, is it, can you ever have imagined as bad? Well, let me ask you. Compare the media treatment to, as, as uh, s some Congress people would have said and still do, illegitimate President George W. Bush and illegitimate President Donald Trump. Well, I, I have for decades made the case that it's so much easier to be a Democrat dealing with the media than it is to be a Republican. You know, I, I have, from my personal experience, I can tell you Googles of examples of press bias. And I just think that's how it works. Um, the, the, the press is largely a, a world that self-selected from people who are liberal who go into journalism and it affects their viewpoints yeah i couldn't agree more and we do so much of media bias on this show but talk if you can um i mean i've never seen anything like it i mean the way the media is calling him a liar uh they're so quick there's nothing he could do that would you know, gain their uh, approval unless chuck schumer was standing next to him patting trump on the back as he did it so so tell me from your what you've seen so far in this 11 12 day period uh and, and what you saw with with president george w bush who the media and the and the liberals had no use for so who's who's got it worse you know oh uh, trump it, has it far worse how so trump has a double double dose of hostility uh, the press liked george w bush personally uh, Bush was a very affable guy, and he got along with the press and could yuck it up with the press. They didn't like him ideologically. Donald Trump, they can't stand personally, and they can't—they don't like him ideologically. And that's the double barrel that he's in. Now, Donald Trump gives it back pretty good, too. And Donald Trump, you could argue, in some ways, has been the aggressor in, in, against some reporters. So be it. Uh, the, the press has still reached levels of delirium and hysteria against Donald Trump that I've never seen before with anybody.